Welcome, this is Randy Williams and we're working on the Gospel of John. We're working on the ninth chapter of John and I promise those of you who've been with me in this, this little process, I promised you that we were going to get back to, to this beginning material where they're trying to explain, they're trying to understand, the disciples of Jesus are trying to understand how is it that this man was blind from birth. Now let's begin it again. And he passed by as he passed by, I'm sorry, he saw a man born, oh, I meant to encourage you to get your scripture. Do you have your Bibles handy? You go get them. There's no point in, in just my enjoying this all by myself. You can hit pause right now and go get your family, bring them together, get the study going, do that, and also get your Bible. We're looking at the ninth chapter of John's Gospel, and what, you know, it's in the New Testament, you kind of part the middle, and you usually end up in, in Psalms, and then you part the second in the middle, and that'll get you into Matthew. Then you got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When I was a kid, I was told the expression, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, saddle my horse, and I'll get on, open the gate, and I'll be gone. It was a way of helping you remember Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the four Gospels. We're in the fourth Gospel. We're in the ninth chapter. We've been looking at this together. So hopefully by now you've got your scripture and you're there with me. All right. And um, as he passed by, he saw a man born, uh, I'm sorry, he saw a man blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, it was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be made manifest in him. Now that's intriguing. That's intriguing. We want to understand things. That a person is blind seems like evil. Seems like an evil thing that a person is blind. And, and since he's blind, they're trying to understand. Was it something he did or was it something his parents did? And this statement is made in there that, it, that it's something that's from birth. He's been born blind. This is the way he came from the factory. He came as a child with this blindness. Okay? And Jesus says, this wasn't a result of sin. This wasn't because of his parents. This wasn't something his parents did. This wasn't something he did. The Bible doesn't spend a lot of time talking about where evil comes from. These gospel writers don't talk a lot about where evil comes from. These gospel writers, John in particular right here, as he's reporting on the life of Jesus, what he's trying to, to see is that Jesus' response to this evil that's encountered is to bring a healing. It's to, to help this person deal with what he's dealing with, and his issue is blindness, okay, we want a universe that makes sense. And we want to be able to, to understand it. And, and so we look at situations that don't make sense to us and we start looking for reasons, looking for reasons, looking for reasons. And this particular situation is that the evil's there. And when Jesus encounters this man's problem, he solves it for him. He solves it with him. The man didn't ask, he just responded and resulted in the man now being able to see. It happens, it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes there are things that are, happen to us and we wonder about them. Why did that happen? In Matthew's Gospel, there are these folks where uh, the Tower of uh, Shalom falls. And that tower, when it falls, kills people in the falling. And Jesus asks, were those bad sinners? Were those the worst sinners? Tower fell on them, didn't fall on you. Are you a better person than they are? No, bad things happen. Bad things happen. Some of us have more trouble than others. Sometimes people talk about karma. What I believe is that God loves you completely. God has given you every opportunity and that you deal with decisions. Sometimes uh, things happen before you're born, in utero, that things happen and, and there are consequences. Uh, 
decisions that your parents make. We play in this life with uh, real facts, real things, things that have consequences. We can't always uh, insulate people from the consequences, but God doesn't cause your pain. God doesn't intend your pain. God loves you and wants to change you into fully understanding that you are created on purpose and with a purpose. And as that happens, you have clarity of sight. That clarity of sight is what the ninth chapter of John's Gospel is all about. We are called to see that Jesus is the one sent from God. God is the one who sent Jesus, and he sent Jesus for us, that we might deal with the issues we have to deal with, and know when the sun comes up in the morning, it was sent for you. Amen. If you like this video, be encouraged to go ahead and, and like it by hitting your button there. Or subscribe so that you'll know and you'll not miss one that comes out. If you want to send this on to other people, feel free to send them the link. That's a, that's a good thing to do. Uh, but I'm particularly intrigued about your response to this. So we can get a dialogue going. You can go ahead and respond. And, and, you know, when I get around to it, I'll follow up and make those notions. I'm not going to promise to be perfect, but I do look forward to hearing from you. Blessings to you. Amen.